All right, so here's again the problem on that lower of cost or market problem. So what they give us here is this is unit cost for each of these different items. They give us the market or NRV value per item, the quantity, and then we're gonna figure out the write down if, if, if any on each of these. All right, so let's take a look at each one of these. We'll go item by item. And you'll notice, again, starting with uh, the alligator armories, the market value is lower than cost by six bucks. At 50 would be 300 bucks as a write down. So just six times 50. For the bare bureaus, because they're the same, there's no write down. As long as it's equal, you don't have to do anything about it. Cougar credences, uh, the cost is 50. <laughs> market value is that. So again, that's what you want as long as the cost is less than market value, you don't have to do any write down. Same thing with the dingo cribs, it's the same. But when you get to the dressers, the cost was 15, the market was 12. That's a $3 difference at 400 units would be $1,200. So it looks like $1,500 <clears throat> would be the overall write down in this situation. So the journal entry would be, you'd be debiting <clears throat> cost of goods sold for 1,500 and then crediting inventory to record that lower cost or market write down rule. All right, last one I think on this set is just looking at the ratios. So we'll check out <clears throat> your inventory turnover. So they give us, looks like one, two, three, four years. And it says calculate to one decimal the inventory turnover ratio and average days to sell for, for basically years 13, 14, and 15. So they want three years worth of it. So remember your formula is cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. They've already given you those. So you just have to do your division. So. Again, the cost of goods sold numbers divided by their average inventories. You can see that for each of the years, you can compare how many times they sold out. And then when you take 365 and divide by that ratio, it tells you how many days it took to sell an inventory. <laughs> and of course, you want the number of days to be lower. That means you're selling it quicker. So it looks like 2013 had the best turnover and the lowest number of days to sell versus 2014. It seems like <laughs> by the time they're getting to 2015, they aren't selling inventory quite as quickly. And I believe that would be kind of like my final comments. I believe that's good enough on this one. And then there'll be another video where I'm doing some more textbook illustrations as well as some of the homework illustrations to help you uh, practice some of these problems in chapter seven.